So what we're going, what we got right here is this used to be a railroad, part of the railway right here. It used to be a train station here, a train station here, and there was a train station down there. Obviously, when the railroad gave up or shut down for traded for the highway, this bit right here, this used to be called the stretch. It used to be drag races, skidoo's, quads, whatever the case may be, ATVs. Anyway, over there, that big building there is the co-op or not the co-op excuse me the cohen's home furnishing there used to be a building there before that but uh there was a fire a very massive fire back in 1998 and it got destroyed and the other building right there is just recently new only new i say about last year it's called kent's uh a hardware store and everything else like this now this trail that we're going on right here this is a really, really fun trail that we used to go on when we were kids. We used to play here all the time when I was a little boy. That chain link fence, though, that was not there. That chain link fence was not there. It used to be a concrete pass. It used to go in here. And I don't know really what, what was there before I came around. But, you know, there's this sidewalk right here. It used to be, I mean, everything here used to be a road. Oh, did a problem with work. Anyway, this, this used to be a good uh, place to play when, you know, I get in trouble. Now, a lot of quads use this now as a, uh, as a trail just to go ATVing on. But like I said, we used to call this the highway. It used to be a bicycle path for us. And here's what remains of it. This part right here. This used to go all the way up here and back. So right now, we're going to go for a little walk down to the old Lions Club playground. And uh, well, here we have right here, we have this little green house that, you, that hasn't changed much since I was a small boy, to be totally honest with you. The family still lives there, mailboxes, and right there, that red house, that used to belong, or my friend Brendan Hunter used to live there. Anyway, uh, he's gone on now, he's, he's, uh, He's got mental he's got mental health issues like I do. Only his are much more severe and his family couldn't take care of him so they had to put him in a, in a special home, which is sad because Brendan was such a such a fun young kid to be around. He was always so energetic and always so kind and I remember uh, I actually remember the day we met, believe it or not. Right there at the seniors club. That's been there forever. Yeah, that was yeah. The family still live there, but I don't know. I haven't seen much of them around for a long, long time. Oh, we used to have a friend who lived in that house right there. This house right here used to be pretty rough. There was a couple of rough ones I used to live there. Same thing with that greenhouse over there. There were always uh, the older kids. They used to live. They used to live here. There was always the older kids. They used to beat us up and everything. Now this right here was every summer. This right here. This is my childhood. It don't look like much now, but... Back in the day, this used to be the old Lions Club playground. I remember right here, there used to be swing sets for, uh, for the younger ones. This was a really fun swing set. This is how we got in right here. Or over there, I can't, yeah, right here. Just get in this way right here. And uh, the Lions Club used to be in that empty space right there. This right here was a, uh, was a big piece of equipment that used to be right here. And uh, there was a lot of fun games. You see, you know, we even, even though we were a ooh, nice car, even though there was a like, we had Nintendo and stuff like that. We didn't have the internet like that. We used to make our own fun, and we had a lot of fun around here. There were a big set of swings over there. The Lions Club itself used to be right here. It used to be this little spot right here in the back behind that fence. The ball fields they were put in later on after I got older. They were always there too. Um, down in this sand pit down there, that used to be the bigger swings. There was a clubhouse down there, a couple more obstacles. The only thing that's here now that remained part of the playground is that uh, seat, that bench over there. Not the picnic table, but the bench. That's the only thing that there of remnants that used to be here, yep. A lot of memories here. And jungle gyms and everything else like that. Kids today, they'll never know what kind of fun we really had at this old place. We had a really lot of fun. And uh, it's sad, you know, when you get older. You know, back back then too, that, that that Kent building was never there either. That used to be an empty empty lot, and there used to be an old caboose 
back of a train used to be back there, but I was really, really young at the time. I was maybe three years old, maybe two, three years old. My grandfather used to take me on a big slide back there, and there used to be a uh, used to be a, a, a caboose, but that got uh, taken away for a long time, which is sad because that was a really cool. I, I wanted when I got older maybe go over there one day and check it out, but they took it away before I had the chance. I had a dream one night when I was a little kid. There was like a pretend rainbow with a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and it turned out to be uh, corn pops. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of memories here. So stay tuned for part three.